A simple beauty surrounds Baha'u'llah's resting place. From it, an almost tangible sense of peace flows out. His words echo in our ears. We desire but the good of the world and the happiness of the nations. The happiness of the nations. Baha'u'llah's life of exile had come to a close here at Baji. Though still a political prisoner, the Messenger of God was able to complete more than 100 volumes, a body of sacred writings dealing with a vast array of subjects. This wealth of divine guidance is centered on the principle of the oneness of humanity. It provides the blueprint for building a global civilization Baha'u'llah explained that humanity is emerging today from its adolescence into the period of its maturity and that the time in which we are now living would see terrible wars and human agony. But he assures us that as this period comes to an end, a new age of international peace and harmony would come to stay. O oh, well-beloved ones, regard ye not one another as strangers. Ye are the fruits of one tree and the leaves of one branch. We cherish the hope that the light of justice may shine upon the world and sanctify it from tyranny. Here at Bhaji, Baha'u'llah finished the work of setting down those principles necessary for world unity. The harmony of science and true religion, the equality of women and men, the need for economic justice, and the elimination of all forms of prejudice. The coming world unity described by Baha'u'llah will be a commonwealth of nations in which cultural diversity and expression is cherished and the participation of all human beings is essential. <laughs> 